Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over the functions of the solar panel hanger. So as you can see, the solar panel hanger mounts to your solar racking. You would use a set of these, so two of these for a single panel. The functions, the main function of the solar panel hanger is to mount your panel evenly with the roof line of your install. Everybody knows your rail, as much as we'd like to think it's perfectly straight, as much as our installers, as much as installers like to say they use a string line or they can eyeball it and it's straight every time, the rail and the feet never go in perfectly straight. So using the rail as a measurement, 15 inches from the rail, doesn't always work when you're done. And a 16th of an inch on one side of an array could be two inches drop on the other. Solar panel hanger, some of the main functions. One, you have the cantilever. You have an adjustment from 10 inches to 15 inches to allow uh, the lane of panels and landscape or portrait. The adjustment is pretty easy. Hit the button, adjust out. 15 inch cantilever for portrait install, 15 inches from the center of the rail to the adjustment foot. If you're doing a landscape system, you have 10 inches from the rail to the tool and one inch in increments in between. The adjustment foot allows you to get your panels perfectly square. Whether it's the rail or the ridge line, it allows you to get a straight line with your solar panel without having one guy underneath holding the panel while someone else is above trying to screw it in. Uh, this has a full one inch adjustment in either direction, more than enough. Uh, generally, you're only doing a, an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch at a time. The main adjustments are being done down in your cantilever. Micro adjustments done with your adjustment knob here for your foot. Another great function of the solar panel hanger is the universal foot. Be adjusted to fit any racking there is out there. When adjusted, it slides right on, allows for a nice sturdy attachment. Once you have your panel mounted, meaning you have your cantilever figured out, you done your micro adjustments, get your solar panel perfectly square. Getting the panel hanger out is super easy. You have a nice little handle right here. You rotate, and the panel hanger is designed to leave just enough gap to slide out from the gap between the solar panel and the racking, and it'll slide right out. We have some great videos to show this uh, on our YouTube channel. So this here, or the base, these are the basic functions of the solar panel hanger when mounting panels to rail. The other cool function of the solar panel hanger is it also stages your panels. Those of you who've had to stuff solar panels and rail all the way down your array where you're tripping over them and, and breaking shingles trying to get them out, solar panel hanger can handle that for you as well. So what we have here is the solar panel hanger in the staging position. We have two safety features that we've added uh, to this position. First, we have the thumb screw. What this does is allow you to tighten this, this tool even more to the racking than it already was. So there's no movement whatsoever. Uh, it just gives a more secure feeling uh, for folks when they're, when they're putting solar panels on there. Uh, the second feature is we have the universal foot facing inward. This does, this allows you to cap the amount of solar panels you can put on a solar panel hanger. So you're not putting too much stress on the rail, on any of the feet, or trying to fit that one last panel on here that could slide off and uh, cause unnecessary damage. Once in this position, you can stage your solar panels on your rail, out of the field, in one nice stack. If you're doing a large array, you can do multiple stacks, or this gives you an area to stage your panels while someone's installing them on the rail and someone else is coming and stacking them in one, one nice secure area. Uh, if you haven't yet, check out some of our videos. We got some tools in action. Uh, we talk about how the tools work best for you. When you watch those videos, leave some comments. If you have any questions, we'd love to make some videos for you in the future.